but avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zalem. Midgar Zalem? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It picks up on the foot footsteps that enter the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy a Chocobo at Chocobo Bill and Chocobo Billy and... Or Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocobo Farm. Blah, 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 blah. First is a Chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the Chocobo stables at the far end of the... Far right end of the farm. By the way, there was another person headed towards the marshes. Without a Chocobo, the Miglar Zalem probably got him. It was a man in a black cape. Okay. You? Oh no, not you. You! You want? Do you want a chocobo? Give me one. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of those ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? Where are they? Yeah, this is basically explaining how you find chocobos. And, uh... I'm not really very good at this. How do I catch one? Uh-huh. Yep. I mean, well, I, I can catch a chocobo. What I'm saying is, there's an awful lot of stuff in this game that requires you to have special chocobos. And you have to breed them. And I never have been able to really do that very well. And then... Uh-huh. What else? Yeah. Yeah, not interested. <laughs> I'll save the Chocobo Looter for 2,000 gil right now. And we gotta buy it. Thanks! Uh-huh. Now, I don't think you actually have to buy greens. But we're going to anyway. Buy two, one of these. One of those. Oh, right. There we go. Fine. Sell. Everything I could sell to this guy? Yes, I do. Sell the assault gun. Sell this star pendant. I could sell this, but I'm not going to just yet. I don't have any materia I don't need. No. Well, I don't need two senses, but... Alright. I don't know if it matters who you put the, ch the thing on. So I'm going to give it to Barrett. And let's go catch a damn chocobo. Now, to show you what they're talking about, you got the marshes over here. So if you run in, where are you at? Come on. There he is. That thing will fucking kill you. <laughs> you just, I mean, you might possibly, I mean, I know there's probably people who have killed it, but I'm not going to try <laughs> because it'll probably just kick my ass. Is it even though uh, Mind Blow destroys your their magic power, by the way. So it doesn't actually do damage, but it is fairly helpful. But yeah, even though Barrett doesn't have his gun on, he still uses his gun limits, so that's kind of funny to me. Ugh. Come on!
whatever. You suck as a thief, Red 13. But yes. So, it does have, I think, an uh, uh, useful enemy skill. But right now, I mean, it's just, it's too powerful. So basically, you gotta run around on these tracks. This is where the chocobos will show up. I don't think I have to have it equipped. So we'll see. Up, uh, and you know you found a chocobo when the music starts. And don't attack the chocobo, by the way. What you do is you go into your thing here, and you pick a type of greens, and you throw at the chocobo. And he'll eat the shit. Like I said, just make sure you do not attack the chocobo. <laughs> so be careful. And they will run away, that's why you gotta feed them. And then you catch a chocobo. And there we go. We got a nut, which is useful for something. Yes, and they'll run away. Now, as long as you're on one of these, you cannot get attacked. So if you ever just want to, like, haul ass around, check out areas, like, you know, like, hmm, what could be up here, you know? Stuff like that. But now, since that we got this, we can outrun this bitch. Ha ha! You suck that, Midgar Zalem. Of course, let me go up here, and we see that somebody has totally fucked up another Midgar Zalem. And it just keeps coming back. It never really goes away. Even if you kill it, it'll be gone, but the next time you come back, it's there. Did Sephiroth do this? Or did I, like, have a freaky Psycho episode and do it? What's up, Barrett? What do you think? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, he just, like impaled a fucking giant snake on a tree. That's actually pretty graphic, you know? That's uh, that's that's one thing I like about this game. It, it doesn't really kid around. You know, you didn't really see that in, like, part 8. There wasn't any blood or death in the whole game, really much. Now, we can't go in here, so we have to dismount. Then our fucking chocobo just takes off like a bitch. But now we're in here. And, uh, now we're in the Mithril Mines, I think. It's kind of easy to get, uh, lost in here. But there's a u some useful, or at least one use that one useful piece of materia around here. And I gotta find it. Oh, these things. Yeah, the... Can we steal? Probably not. You can never steal. Ever. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus! That, well, that didn't do any damage. What the hell was that? Come on, Red. Come on! Ugh. I want something! Give me! I know you can do this! Why?! Why does it not work? I don't understand. Fine. Hey. I know it has something to do with the level. Ooh, 
Ooh, mine source. That raises spirit. And I'm gonna use I was gonna check to see who needed it the most, but I'm just gonna give it to me right now. Cause like I said, I haven't decided on, you know, if I'm even gonna use these guys for much longer. I don't know where it is though. Just a second. I'd hoped I'd never see you again. Do you know who I am? I'm the Turks, right? Well, if you know, then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Dots. Dots. Sir! It's all right, Rude. I know you don't like speech speeches, so don't force it. Then Elena explain. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short people. Although because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. In any case, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed and to try to stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute! It's the other way around. You're the ones getting in our way. Elena, shut the fuck up. Mr. Sung? No need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, Sung. I thought I gave you other orders. Now go, and don't forget to follow your reports. Alright. Very well, Rude and I will go up to Sethroth, who's heading for Junion Harbor. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sethroth get away. Yes, sir! Yeah, like you could stop him. Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Well then. Where's Eris? She's not with you? Eris isn't with us. She's with the others. Oh, then give her my regards. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> At least for where I want to go. Elixir. It's handy. I want that materia. Oh. Damn. The summon Choco Mog. Just because there's an awful lot of these fuckers. Uh, ugh. That does wind damage and it also can inflict stop. As a summon, it's pathetically weak, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Right now, it's kind of handy because I don't have too many spells. And it's one of the few ways to get wind damage. I remember it's in here. Oh, you again? Jesus. Throw a quake. a lot of reason to like save limit breaks I mean unless you know there's a boss fight coming but I mean because that's how you get more limit breaks is by using the one you already have Don't chill me, bro! <laughs> I was kind of wrong, but you know, I had to make, I had to do it. <laughs> and we get more levels, so that's always good. 
Oh, you whore! <laughs> Damn! Yep. Death blow! <laughs> it's kind of comical. It kind of makes me laugh. But I think yeah, that one, yeah. Chocomog and Odin are the only summons that actually have two different things that they do. Like, sometimes I think a big fat chocobo will just pop out of nowhere and fall on him. That seems how I know. Once you see the Turks, that's the way out. So we'll go up here. Get this stuff. Damn! I know it's not going to work anyway. Oh, they don't even have anything. The one time... Oh, <laughs> I can almost get it to work. And look what happens to me. I know that there was a big myth that was going around that if you used everybody's uh, limit break each one 100 times that you'd get their last limit break for free. And let me just tell you, that does not work. <laughs> I tried that once. And it totally screwed me over because by like the end game with uh, like Cloud stuff, I barely had his level 3 limit break. So yeah, don't don't fall for those internet rumors. Thanks much. Give you a little heads up if somebody tells you that it doesn't work. Ooh, that was a good amount of AP though. I think. Can I climb one of these? I think I have to. Come on, climb. Climb it. Climb. There we go. There it is. The long range materia. Now with this, you can equip it to like a, a front person like I am. And you can put them in the back. But, see how I can't I don't really want to give up anything just yet. So I guess I'm just going to kind of hang on to it by now, for right now. But it's handy because like you can attack from the back row and not lose any power, but you can also hit enemies that are far away. Like normally Barrett would be the only one, like right now, like when I went through that uh, that boss on the elevator, only Barrett could attack them. But if I had the long range material on, even somebody like Cloud could attack them. Scissor spark, damn you! Ugh. 